Hey, I'm Marnie, a show home decorator here at Homes by Abby. I'm constantly finding ways to make a statement in a new home with a creative budget and a tight timeline. Our team likes to stay on top of the latest design trends and enjoy making them our own. With the help of our construction team, I'll be showing you some seriously stylish DIY projects, along with some show home decorator insider tips. Hey, today we'll be featuring a DIY faux tin headboard. It's about a skill level six, which means some power tools required, and you can count on a half day project. Show stopping headboards are everywhere these days. I constantly see them on my shopping trips. They're a great way to ground a space, give you a focal point, and show some personality. Today I'll show you how to make a DIY tin headboard for a fraction of the cost than you find at big furniture stores. Here are the materials you'll need to make it happen. One large piece of plywood, 60 inches wide by 36 inches tall. Two one by fours, eight ceiling tiles or backsplash tiles, PL premium glue, four pieces trim measured to size, one quart of pearl white paint, putty or spackle, and primer. So tools, a measuring tape, a caulking gun, miter saw, paint roller and brush, a nail gun, drill, and an electric screwdriver. Step one, size up your materials. First of all, trim all of the wood and other pieces. Your actual headboard piece should fit three tiles vertically and be 60 inches wide for a standard queen bed. You'll need to cut your trim using a miter saw, so the angles are 45 degrees and fit together. Have your hardware store cut all these pieces to size or use your own tools. Step two, secure the legs. This is where you'll set the height for your headboard. Measure in four inches and use a drill to create three holes in both the plywood and the one by fours. Your longer screws can be attached to the one by fours. Step three, stick those tiles. Lay out the plywood and use an adhesive and caulking gun to secure each tile to the headboard. Make sure the seams are tight and the plywood is covered. Step four, install the trim. Here's where your trusty nail gun comes in handy. Apply the trim to the outer edges of the plywood, making sure none of the edges are showing. Use a few nails for each piece of trim. Then fill the holes with a little putty, sand the filled holes, and then paint the entire trim using the same pearl white paint. Step five, prime and paint your pieces. Now you'll need to use a roller to paint the ceiling tiles, trim, and one by fours. It might take another coat depending on the color you're using. We're using pearl white because of the statement it'll make against a bold teal wall. Step six, install your finished piece. Your headboard is now complete. Just place it between your bed frame and the wall. Secure it to the frame or wall if you prefer. I love the look of this headboard. It's bright and stylish. It's a great way to add a statement to your room. Find a detailed step-by-step -step instruction on abbyurban.com. <laughs>